Hey guys, it's Mike Perez with Uncharted Recreation. I just wanted to do a quick video on a brand new product that we just got in. This is the very first one we've gotten. This is a brand new uh, 2022 ROG made by Encore RV. Uh, the main concept behind this trailer is for anybody that's an outdoor enthusiast, um, you like to do some dry camping off the grid, Basically, wherever your tow vehicle will go, this trailer will go with you. So I'm going to flip the camera around. I'm going to take you through some of the features of this trailer. The first thing you'll notice about the ROG is its size. It's about 14 feet in length, extremely lightweight and low profile. Some of the awesome features you're going to see on the front end is you do have a two inch ball. You have the normal size uh, safety chains. You also have a swing out uh, uh, tongue jack. So if you ever need to push this into some tight spots, uh, you can or push it into your garage, easy to do. You also have a full size 15 inch tire and wheel uh, off terrain tire and a custom rack in the front that holds both the tire and the LP bottle. You also have the front diamond plate to help protect against any rock chips or dents. And then the rest of it is going to be a high gloss Asdell fiberglass. <clears throat> the nice thing with the Asdell is it doesn't hold any moisture inside the wall, so less likely to develop any kind of delamination. Now, one thing to point out is the whole roof is one solid piece. So if you start right here and you go all the way to the back, it's one fiberglass. There are no seams on the roof, so less likely for you to develop any kind of leaks. Uh, really, the only two cutouts are going to be the roof vent and the air conditioner. The other thing about the ROG is it's all aluminum frame. So the, the entire chassis and the frame is made out of aluminum to make it a lot lighter and stronger. There is no wood used in the construction of this product. It's all composite materials, a little bit of steel, and a lot of aluminum. So on the camp side, we have a full length awning. Now that awning comes straight out to, and you could also create a second little room on the outside uh, to create a nice little camping area. You also have a custom roof rack with a wind deflector on the front to help make it a little bit more aerodynamic when you're pulling it down the road. And then the way the roof rack was designed is you have all these little cutouts here so in the future you could always add some extra accessories maybe an outdoor shower shovels extra gear anything like that now on the front corner of the rog you're going to have an extra storage bin here the nice thing with this storage bin it is lockable it is on a motion light sensor so that kicks on and you can see you have plenty of room to store some fold-up chairs, uh, sleeping bags, extra bedding, etc. And then right down here you have a panel that pops up and this is where you would be able to house your AGM or lithium batteries. This is not a vented compartment so this was designed specifically for AGM style uh, batteries on there. Now on each of the corners of the ROG you're going to have a 12 volt uh, power plug there's going to be one on each four corners. The nice thing with this kind of plug is you also have separate uh, on and off switches on the inside of the trailer so you can turn each one on individually. Window in the front door and then also an exit window uh, right over the living area that also pops out. Off terrain tires. It's pre-plumbed for an external barbecue grill with extra 12-volt plug-ins. <clears throat> Here's the other power port. Now on the back of the ROG, this is where the uh, kitchen is, and I'll show you that in a second. First of all, you do have a second awning on the roof here, and this awning is just going to come straight out to give you a plenty of shade over the cooking area. And then you do have the barn door style uh, rear doors. Now each of the doors are on gas struts so they are completely out of the way. You don't have to worry about the wind coming up and closing those on you. So back here in the kitchen you're going to have all 
a laser cut aluminum cabin tree. Uh, they have been powder coated, so they'll pretty much last forever. So some of the features you're going to have is you're going to have a spice rack and knife holder on this side. You're going to have some extra uh, storage with accent lighting in the back here. And then you do have your two outdoor speakers. All of the lights are controlled on individual switches. You have a two burner cooktop where the cooktop actually folds up out of the way. And then you have the cast iron uh, on top of that. You also have a microwave, a deep sink with the pull out faucet, another storage compartment here, all once again made out of aluminum that's on motion lighting. Now the good thing is this is also designed as part of the structural integrity of the trailer. So for an example, if you want to add a rooftop tent, some of these items are going to help support that extra weight. You have a traditional fridge with the small freezer up on top instead of the cooler style fridge. Solid surface countertop and then one more storage compartment underneath. They tried to tuck all the plumbing out of the way to give you as much storage for pots and pans and uh, extra items. And most importantly, you do have a bottle opener. Then on the off uh, opposite of the campsite, once again, four corner plug-ins. You also are going to have uh, access to your 38-gallon uh, freshwater tank. So this is where you would fill your freshwater tank or hook up to city water. And 38 gallons uh, on a trailer this size is unbelievable. And the best part is, is that holding tank is actually tucked under uh, above the, the floor. So it's not going to be exposed to the elements underneath the actual frame. Uh, outdoor shower port. 30 amp power cord, uh, you know you have power when the light turns blue, and then you also have cable and satellite hookup and pre-wired for a portable solar panel and your exhaust to your furnace, which is another item that we'll mention on the inside. Now on the inside of the ROG, it's a really cool layout. So the first thing you see is you have a futon style uh, mattress. Now, once this folds flat, it is a true 60 by 80 queen size mattress, and it's super, super thick. So way more comfortable than a traditional RV mattress. Uh, you have your escape windows on both sides, and they do have a nightshade, so for extra privacy. Some more of the laser cut aluminum cabinetry that also helps with the structural integrity of the trailer. You have individual reading lights and a little shelf on each end for cell phones, etc. And then the lights are both blue or white, depending on uh, what you want to use. And then you do have your thermostat control. So that's the other thing that's unique is this trailer actually comes with a furnace as well. A rooftop air conditioner and a high output attic fan. Additional storage up on front with LED accent lighting. And then this is your control panel for all your exterior lights. And these are the four buttons that control each one of the 12 volt uh, power ports on each corner of the trailer. Stereo system, exhaust vent for your furnace, and then one more closet on the side. Now on your closet, you're gonna have access to your, fuel, uh, your fuse box, and then a couple of shelves for extra storage. And then access panel to your furnace. So, there, so that panel just pops out for easy access there. You're going to have a small spot there for a TV with your TV hookups all on one side. And here's just another quick look at the inside of the ROG.